I am Dr. Saikurak Stesanjovu, the Registrar of Information and Commission University. Information and Commission University is one of the registered private universities in Zambia which is focused on research, innovation and practical approach to what is taught in every program. We have various programs like School of, in, in school of Engineering, School of Education, School of Business, School of Humanities, School of Communication and Media Studies and indeed postgraduate and research uh, programs. What is unique about Information and Commission University in all these programs is that we are known for genuine corporate social responsibility in the sense that Information and Commission University has gone into partnership with Zambia Research and Development Center which offers huge bursary to our students both at bachelor's, uh, master's and indeed both in full-time and distance education. So, if potential students want to study with Information and Commission University, we remind them that if they want, where necessary, they can apply for Bazir. Bazir, which goes up to 50% for full-time students, 70% for uh, master's students, and up to 90% for bachelor's students at distance education level. Now, Information Commission University is in this showgrounds today showing what we have imparted to students which have been transformed into projects. This is why we have different projects exhibiting here in different programs so that students can showcase how they have transformed the practical knowledge that have been given in their respective programs into projects which can benefit society at large. Now, what is very unique about Information and Commission University is that we very much depend on modern technology, especially ICT. Now, following the theme of this year that uh, we, we innovation through technology, we must understand what technology is. Technology is anything that you use to come up with a tangible product which benefits yourself, your family, and society. And at Information and Commission University, using these programs that I've already mentioned, we transform that uh, knowledge into technology so that students any member of the society can use that technology to benefit himself, his family, and the world at large. Now, because at this show we are exhibiting various projects from different uh, schools, I will now hand you, you over to the students who are exhibiting in various projects. My name is Tutu Zulu. I'm a student at Information and Communications University. I'm studying uh, electronics engineering. And uh, with us here, we're exhibiting a project where we're able to address some of the issues, such as what uh, everyone is uh, uh, going through. For instance, from the time I was born, I've actually noticed that if you want to turn on a bulb like this one, we actually use the normal switch. And you can't tell the difference whether you're in the bush or maybe you're in town. But with using uh, technology as this one, you're able to uh, use internet as well as the smartphone to be able to operate gadgets uh, for instance bulbs or any other electrical or electronic equipment so for instance let's say if you want to uh, turn uh, this bulb on we will just uh, uh, come on the up here and then uh, you are able to turn it on and off and also you, you cannot just connect bulbs any electrical uh, plants or electronic they can be able to be connected and be operated from anywhere in the world so you're not restricted to distance you're also not uh, re re restricted to obstructions all you need is the phone to be connected to internet as well as this box to be connected to internet and then the two will be able to be talking My name is Sandy Chanda. I'm a student at ICU uh, in my fourth year. What I have here is a hydroponic solution. So when we talk about hydroponic, we are trying to germinate or grow plants using water without soil. So when we talk about hydroponic, we have two units, hydroponic fodder for animals, and we have hydroponic where we are trying to raise plants. So here is hydroponic fodder where we where the plant is sprouted in seven days 
then there we have a plant where we are using with the liquid vermi wash as nutrient solution to grow plants in hydroponic there. Thank you. My name is Mubita Sayoa. I'm a student of agriculture at the ICU in my fifth semester now. So with us here, we have vermicomposting project under, underway. We have uh, fertilizers, organic fertilizers. We have liquid fertilizer and vermicast organic fertilizers. These products are produced using a process called vermicomposting, where we use earthworms to digest organic waste and produce these organic fertilizers. They're 100% organic and uh, highly nutritious in terms of uh, macro and micro essential nutrients that are beneficial to the plants and both, and also the soil, that is, yes. So we have uh, the worms here. We have uh, two types of worms that we use. We have the tiger worms and the red wiggler worms. These are the ones that are perfect for vermicomposting, yes. Uh, my name is Tadashi. I'm a student at the Information and Communications University. I'm studying Masters of uh, ICT. All right, so what we have here is the ICU Cybersecurity app. So the ICU Cybersecurity app can do the following. Number one, track stolen phones. So we can use this ICU Cybersecurity app to track stolen phones, okay? So um, what you basically need to do is have the application installed on your phone, and then thereafter, we'll do the rest for you in, in an event you lose your phone. And then second, uh, our application is also able to detect spam messages. So of, of late, we've had uh, people sending uh, uh, members of the general public messages, uh, mobile money messages that you have received so much. And then after sending that message, they, they make a call, they call you telling you to transact back that, that, that money. So because you are not aware of what is going on, you are suspicious of uh, th those scammers, you go on your phone, you transact back that money, not knowing that you are sending, you are sending actually, the money that you are sending actually is your own. Okay, so in order to solve that problem, our application will detect that SMX and flag it off as a spam. So in, within a split second, you are, you are going to be able to receive another message cautioning you to be careful with the very same message that you received from the scammers. And then we're also able to, we have also incorporated an SOS button, the red button there, in an event where you find yourself in a, we've had activities of uh, people being abducted in buses. So you, if you find yourself in such um, a circumstance, all you need to do is open the application and tap on the SOS button. Once you tap on the SOS button, uh, because we're going to set up a, a call center, of course, with uh, after signing MOUs with the police, Zikta, and also other stakeholders, we will be able to send you the nearest uh, security personnel to come to your aid. Okay, so um, in a nutshell, uh, the app protects users against mobile money theft, theft, and also protects the general pub public against cybercrimes.